So welcome all to 2020. I know it's like 20. <laughs> welcome all to 2022. It's my first video of the year, uh, starting a little bit late, but I had to wait until now to tell you about this amazing first project of the year, this amazing mural I did for Puma in Puma's headquarters in Germany, close to Nuremberg. So I started off the year already getting called by tape over to do this amazing project. We're doing two murals for the headquarters of Puma. They're launching their new Instagram page. So we are doing this huge uh, artwork to kind of celebrate that. And I had the chance to work with Berat, this amazing artist doing uh, Puma eyes on top of a glitch pattern that at the end turned out to look amazing. So we traveled off to I'm probably butchering that. It's this town close to Nuremberg where both the headquarters of Puma and Adidas are. They used to be brothers, so they divided the company into two companies or something like that crazy story. And we got called by Puma to do this tape art project. got to the Puma factory they gave us all new Puma shoes because apparently you are supposed to be wearing Puma sneakers while you're walking around Puma land. Also their manholes were emblazoned with a Puma which I found very cool and the street there is actually called Puma Way so it's like a little Puma town in the middle of Germany. We started off by doing some squares that were the background of this artwork. And on top of that, we added different layers of squares and rectangles to create this 3D kind of glitch aesthetic. After that, we added two big layers of black cut plotter, which were the eyes that we prepared in advance in the studio. So this would allow us to save us time and keep you know, the proportions right when working with these huge pieces.
finally, after the eyes, we just started adding smaller squares and different colors and locations and rectangles and, sh and slices of tape to continue to give this glitch aesthetic that we were looking for. In my opinion, it looks amazing. I'm super happy about how it turned out. I really like the idea of how when the light comes through in the back, it is a different almost artwork because you can see the transparencies while in its scene in the night, in the dark, without that light coming in through the window, it becomes more of a blocky situation. So it's a mutating artwork that uh, looked very cool. an amazing job you can see this video of how their tunnel looked like at the end a little walk through on on you know this amazing anamorphic puma that they created so yeah i was super happy to do this project i'm very excited how it turned out it's been always a lot of fun to work with tape over so thanks a lot for that opportunity and um if you're also wondering where i am right now I am in my brand new studio, but I will tell you about that maybe next week. <laughs>